Uba process di Sokmi, Emily ka Congress na molai, ha ka si basao ka darbar sinrai jong ka ying darbar tawain ka jala, ulabu ka jingkili halo ka jimam padiang ka ying. Ban ra ya keren ya kamat ya tai halo, ka jingdawa ban wengkam sipo reki ufasar pulit, ki balasak ka no ban kati ban siat diab yojong sekitri barim ka HLC liat ba ciris tengkiyo, ha ka step kalai terik na lahar arajar apwe. Maria Bu Jingkeli umi terang bahawa Konrad K. Sangma ulah tuklar bat ong bahawa kami hap bat markum tau bahawa proses ulah keli kelah balai ke sorkar ke tiang menjubab halau ke jingja siak siak diap ujalan seketri berim ke agensi u lampang ulah kentui bahawa proses bansyong bat hak keti kepor lah kenik tiang nau sumbut menterang bahawa bahawa persetun tensong ubalo ong bahawa kalong ke babakla ban kena bahawa ke sorkar ke kuah buri. Hadian kene lami kejengi peninia na ki MLA ke Kongres bat kamtam nau nong yalam ke liang persyau Dr. Mukul Sangma. Hadian kene ki MLA ke seng Kongres ki lami jendat no na ke yeng ban persya ya katai ke jimam ailat ban ra ya kemat ya tai. Ki MLA ke Kongres hapok kejengi lamu Dr. Mukul Sangma nau yalam ke liang persya ki la penlong da kejengi lang ya ki persya na bari yeng do bar thoai rengkat kejeng perta penerim ek sorkar Megalia Dermotics Alliance. On a photo say according to rule 300 sub. So I would like to choose to bring to notice of a of the house that uh, the the short duration discussion which have already brought on the on the on the SMA secretariat also you have already been informed me that a discussion will be on today 15 let us say you have already been informed to me that you have been uh, rejected this question on the ground that uh, on the ground, on the sir, ground, sir, that point the advocate general, point of order, sir, advocate general have already written the message. Sir, uh, the rule three hundred and three hundred point uh, six uh, says that you cannot uh, ask. Uh, you cannot raise a point of order to ask information or explain position, sir. So please, in another rule, he can bring it out. But three hundred is not the provision Mr. Speaker, to sir, bring out an issue like sir, this. I don't, I don't understand why. Sir, I don't understand why. The follow the rules. Why do you ask? The government is afraid. Of जिंग of the ex and she H and C leader, but sir, from our side, from our, so no, sir, so no, sir, so no, sir, so no, sir, yes, sir, so many points, sir, so many points, sir, for this, sir, for this, since we didn't get, we didn't get the information in the house, so I stand with out, sir, we will out, we will out because no chance in this discussion. Mr. Speaker, sir, let me reply, Mr. Speaker, sir, can I just submit just one point, sir? I think our honourable member, senior member from Malai, Mr. Please, please take a seat, please. He raised point of order 300. Okay. Right. And now, when he mentioned that the government does not want, wanted to hide things, I think that is wrong because this is at your discretion. When you talk about the business, any business, when you have written, when you have written to, to the, the honourable speaker, then it is the wisdom of the honourable speaker to do it. But please don't blame the government. It's not that we are here to hide anything. So therefore, let us put things straight. So whatever the, whatever the honourable uh, deputy minister said, sir. So I'm not satisfied with whatever the, uh, the government did because a letter which I want to write to you is advice. It write from the, from the side of the Home Minister. Home Minister said because of the opinion of the of the Attorney General that he said ad, not, it's not advisable to discuss. That's why it seems uh, from our side, since we didn't get a scope to discuss it for the House, better we walk out, sir. I will walk out sir, for this issue, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, when we talk about a matter which can be considered for discussion under the relevant rules of procedure and conduct of business, which was referred to the honorable member who has tabled this uh, short duration discussion. Now, uh, we can actually ensure that we don't touch those points which can be interpreted as those areas which will be covered under the, uh, your uh, interpretation of uh, matter under sub -judice. So I think this uh, particular short duration discussion has enough scope to dwell upon the issues which can draw the attention of the government outside those areas which can be considered covered under, uh, you know, as sub -judice. 
Therefore, uh, I would like to request, because this whole decision to disallow is an offshoot of the letter which has come from the government. That means the government wants to avoid discussion on this. While, actually, I think people of the state wants the discussion to be here. But the only thing is that whether those areas which is covered, which can be considered as subjudice, can be avoided during the discussion. So I think we, I would like to urge upon you, uh, in spite of the letter which has come from the government, may you allow uh, or reconsider this uh, uh, ruling that you have given, sir. So I would like also to endorse uh, what the leader of opposition has just mentioned, sir. We will be confining only to certain areas which concerns the topic of the short duration. So we are aware that there is already a judicial inquiry instituted and the process is already on. But sir, we will not touch those areas which are sensitive, those areas which we fully understand that may somehow or the other influence this way or that way. So that's why, sir, allow us, sir, sir please, we will confine strictly. And in case, sir, we have gone one line or the other beyond, you may kindly reprimand us and we will sit down, sir. So just allow this for the sake of the people of Maulai, for the sake of the people of the state, sir. We are committed today, sir, that we have to speak few things to the government which we have in our hearts. The voice of the people has to be voiced here on the floor of the house, sir. Otherwise, where would we go and speak, sir? We cannot go and speak in the street. We want to speak today, face to face, so that we can hear the justification made by the government as well, sir. So kindly please do allow and consider your order, sir, please. Sir, may I just submit? <clears throat> sir, this is my short, short duration notice clearly says that the, about the suspension of the two superintendents of police. In yesterday's discussion and the reply from the Home Minister was made very clear to us by the Honorable Chief Minister also that they have constituted a committee of inquiry to be headed by the Chief Justice. Now, that is part of the inquiry to be taken up by the Chief Justice. But the suspension of MLA, uh, M SP, sorry, is a matter of administrative procedure. That doesn't come under any administrative inquiry, judicial inquiry. So we must separate the two. I will give you an instance, sir. In the year 1982, in Assam, in Jorhat, a similar incident had been taken place, whereby the then SP was removed, or suspended. So that should not be linked to the inquiry that's going to be constituted and done to get at the final result of what actually happened. That we don't want to interfere in. But this discussion is totally separate from the main from the, from the uh, matter which is under subjudice. Therefore, sir, although you have given your ruling, I would kindly request you to consider. I would like to again say, like this, reiterate. Sir, yes, we understand well. Still, we have the opportunity. If we talk about, about uh, short duration discussion, well, we leave it to your wisdom. But I would like to suggest, even even you can go for special motion. Even even no, you can no, no. go for special motion. That also can be done, sir. Not necessarily only not on, not not necessarily only short duration. Even special motion can be taken up. That also can be done, sir. Sir, since the notice that was given to the honourable member for Molai earlier was that the short duration discussion was admitted today, and the withdrawal came only after the letter came from the government. Sir, people are out of, on the streets, sir. Lacks of people are out on the streets voicing concerns about what has happened in the state. We will be found fumbling on our duty, sir, if we do not take up the discussion, sir, as we had moved the special short duration discussion focusing on the suspension of the SP, sir. Uh, I would just like to add uh, one point here. That uh, even yesterday, when the question hour was going on, the Honorable Member from Maulai himself, towards the end of the question, while it was moving on, he himself said that this is subjudice, it should not have been allowed. Why was this allowed? Is the statement he made. 
So it is his suggestion only. And the point that he's making, which he made yesterday, is what we're following. The matter is that the, the facts will come out. Demand was there for a judicial inquiry. That is why it has been set. And these factors and these issues will impact this inquiry. It will be incorrect from a rule, from the uh, entire procedure point of view, to bring in something that is in that line, sir. And that point was mentioned yesterday by the honorable member himself. So therefore, sir, it is not on the basis of uh, the fact that we don't want to discuss this, but there are certain constraints which even the House has to honor and has to see. And that's why it is happening. So therefore, sir, a question was raised yesterday. The honorable uh, Home Minister has given a very exhaustive reply in, that, in this thing. And the most important aspect is that the judicial inquiry is there and all the facts and the realities will come out in the judicial inquiry and we should give the chance to the judicial inquiry to be completed, sir. Oh, sir, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yesterday, I re yesterday sir, yesterday I, ref I refer, I refer about, about a letter which I've already been received from the government, uh, from, from the Assembly Secretary two days back. At the beginning, you have been already admitted today. Then after some time, that, uh, they have already been sent a new letter that that because of the government, the Home Minister himself, because you have enclosed the letter to me. If you didn't enclose that letter to me, I don't know anything about what's, what is going on or going wrong. In that letter, Home Minister himself have only mentioned that he had already been uh, obtained the opinion from the, uh, from the uh, uh, Advocate General. And he said, and he referred the Rule 59, which is no scope for, no scope for discussion. He also mentioned about the subject is, I refer whatever letter have said to me. See, because of that, because of that reason, so yesterday I said, how you reply? Mistake is already committed since yesterday because he replied. He replied, that's why I raised about all oh, so, so this. But sir, regarding with this matter, which have already been raised, we request, if possible, if not, it is up to you, sir, because uh, you are the final, uh, final authority to give judgment. But if not, from our side, as a mark of our protest, because this is the voice of the people, the voice of, people of the state, we have to stay out for some time, sir. <clears throat> sir, sir, honourable speaker, sir. Uh, sir, this is something that we need to really think about. It's not just to raise our voices and keep screaming at each other. Sir, yesterday, the whole issue was relating to the IED blast, the question. Now, that question, IED blast, led to the questions of killing of late Cherry Sheffield, thank you. Now, sir, at that point of time, had the Honorable Home Minister stopped or avoided or sought your permission not to go ahead, then, sir, things would have stopped there. And, sir, your Honorable Speaker, sir, you also allowed, sir, the discussion to go further, and then the questions went on, and there was no question of subjudice. No, I have given the ruling yesterday because sir. I am allowed to a limited scope for discussion. Sir. That was a question hour. Sir. Okay, so I can understand that how I can take care. Yes, Why I have accepted this letter which has come from the government is basically it refers to Rule 59. I have already spread it out. If you want, I can again, I'm, which I am sure that all of you are aware very much about it. Okay, so I'm afraid that this might, um, you know, might. Uh, might have some sort of a, uh, you know, reflection as far as the, the inquiry is concerned. That is on that ground. And I have to forward the letter which I have received from the government to the order member. So we assure you that we will confine strictly within the boundaries of what we want to talk, not beyond whatever that is going to be sub sir. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, the demand for suspension of the concerned officers is not at all something which can be considered as a matter of subjudice. Now, uh, from the stand of the government, it proves beyond reasonable doubt that they are hell bent on sticking to the decision that they have taken and they want to completely stonewall any possibility of discussion on this so that we can have a logical conclusion and have a conscious decision to be taken by the government based on an offshoot of the deliberation of this August House. It would have been rather 
an opportunity for the government to actually review their stand and take a conscious decision which is considered best for the interests of the state. Now, in absence of that, we understand that even discussion on the subject will be meaningless because they will not be willing to even probably, in other words, it will all fall in deaf ears. Because even yesterday's proceeding, what we saw, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that when we heard the submission of the Honorable CM, he seemed to have been disconnected because the fact that the minister in charge home have gone ahead in replying those subjects which should have been avoided is what was referred to by the <coughs> Honorable Commissioner that that was supposed to be subject as you have replied. Now, but the most important part is that I think the intent of the government is very clear before us. We will not, in futility, engage in discussion and debate. We walk out to demonstrate our disapproval and our complete sense of lack of confidence on the intent of the government. 